Hit it. Hey, welcome everyone to the Intentional Mentoring Tuesday Tactical Webinar. We're going to be talking about putting things into practice. So I'd like to introduce Mr. Peter Wolfing, and he's with us today, and I would love to see what is your vision for Tactical Tuesdays, and how is this different than our Monday night call? Well, hey, everybody, thank you so much for coming on. The Tactical Tuesday is where we actually roll up our sleeves and we get down and dirty with how to do stuff. You look over our shoulder, mainly Victor's shoulder, and you see how he does things. We do, many times uh, we won't physically do something, but we'll actually discuss in depth how to do something. And other times we'll get in there and we'll actually start clicking and building right in front of you. So a Tactical Tuesday is the nuts and bolts of doing marketing and doing sales and building funnels and the like. So it's a little bit different than our mindset calls on Monday, and it's different than our deep dive uh, calls, which is more marketing and promotional stuff, which is on Thursdays. So, uh, so that's what we're doing here on Tactical Tuesday. We don't want you to be a wallflower and to sit there and just listen because you only get 5 or 10% if you're lucky and retain that if you're just sitting there listening. So if you're participating, you're typing into the chats, you're typing in as we ask questions, and that's going to engage your muscles, your brain muscles, and different sensory items that you have, touch, feel, taste, smell, those types of things, to uh, allow you to be able to remember more, okay? So the more you engage and you participate, you're going to be uh, much more effective in absorbing the material that we're giving you on not only Tactical Tuesdays, but Deep Dive Thursdays and the like. Okay, thank you, Peter. Now, everyone is here because they are a member of Intentional Mentoring in some capacity, or they happen to be in our Builderall team. And almost everyone here has SociSnap. Now, we just launched a free version letting you try the tool if you like. It's at SociSnap.net. That's the free version. If you don't have SociSnap, just go register for free. You can do one-click sign-up with Facebook or Google. And uh, before I go into this presentation, I just want to acknowledge Peter is our number one recruiter for SociSnap. If you could share a little bit about what is SociSnap and why would people want to give it a shot. Back to you, Peter. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've been using SociSnap for years and I don't use it on everything because sometimes if you use the best on everything, it doesn't seem to be the best anymore because people get used to it, right? So when I want to really emphasize something and I want it to be different, I want it to stand out amongst any other post that I'm doing, being that on social media like um, Facebook or on YouTube or really any number of other platforms, even comments, then I'll use SociSnap to uh, snap size it, so to speak, and make it pop off the page so that this way uh, it gets noticed. And that's the big thing on social media. If you look at all the posts, they all look the same, meaning the same type and the same thing, you know, same, uh, uh, same look to them. And most people are just scanning through very, very quickly all these different things. And you want to put something on there to stop them in their tracks and say, oh, that looks interesting. What's that? And that's what SociSnap does, and it gets your post to be noticed. So um, so that's what it says, make it pop off the page, and that's exactly what it does. Very, 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 very simple. I was up and using it in 30 seconds to a minute because it's just typing and using emojis and bold and underlined and so on as you would normally do. Then you just copy and paste it into whatever social media you're using, and you're good to go. So very, very simple. It doesn't have a learning curve. It has no learning curve whatsoever unless you don't know how to you know, copy and paste. Um, but I assume everybody here knows at least how to do the basic computer functions. Yes, and yesterday we had an epic call talking about sales and marketing. And I wondered if you could summarize that for a few minutes. Uh, I'm going to send another reminder email to people while you do that. If you could just you know, paraphrase what we talked about yesterday. We're going to be streaming that immediately following this at the Intentional Mentoring YouTube channel. So go to YouTube. Search for Intentional Mentoring and become a subscriber and be sure to click that bell notification and click the all button so that every single time we upload a video to Intentional Mentoring, you'll get notified on your phone. 
So why don't you summarize in a few minutes what we covered in the sales masterclass, because today is going to be a continuation of that. Yeah, Monday is great because we do uh, an entrepreneur masterclass on every Monday night, and it's really mindset, okay? Mindset is 90% of the sales process. And we talked about marketing and sales. What's the difference? Marketing is kind of prepping the, uh, the, the person before they get to the process where then you try to sell them into your program, okay, or, or buy your product. And we talked that sales is not something to be feared. It's not something to be like, oh, it's a bad thing. Sales makes the world go round, people. <laughs> it really does. And uh, if you learn how to be a professional, world-class salesperson, you do it ethically, professionally, and people enjoy and they really like when you sell them something and they should want to buy something from you, right? Because you're selling them something that's going to help and enhance their life. So uh, we talked a lot about those types of details and in, you know, presentations and, and all these different types of things. So um, sales, after you get the person to the actual page where they're going to actually make a decision, that's where the sales process comes in. The marketing is, is prepping them through many different steps before you actually get there. That could be through email. It could be through text. It could be through the website. It could be videos. It could be all sorts of stuff like that. And when they're in that buying position, that's when you come in as a sales professional if you want to engage with them. Now, you can go through the whole process and never talk to the person, which is, I guess, the siren call of what people want in network marketing. But if you want to up your sales ratios and you want to up your income by as much as 20, 30, 40 percent, talk to people. They don't bite, <laughs> you know, and uh, and, if, and again, if you can become a master salesperson and everybody's not born that way, they can learn how to do that. It's just like, you know, putting on your shoes or, or your pants or whatever. It's the same thing. Uh, it's just steps that you need to learn. Right. And to be aware of and to notice. And once you're able to do that, oh, sky's the limit. I mean, you don't you can't work for anybody else at that point. And people and companies seek you out because you're really good. OK, so um, it's some point in the future, we're going to be doing a sales masterclass deep dive into the sales process. And we'll talk about all sorts of deep different things that I just didn't have time to talk about on Monday. It was just a real basic overview. It's this is your business and treat it like a real business. Treat it like a million dollar business and it will pay you like a million dollar business. So you in turn should be making time for what's important to you. And if it's important to you to be on something like this, to learn something new, to grow, to be able to get your skills better, to demand more money, it's all a link in the process, right? It's all a link in the process. So if you put those in your calendar, then uh, you will, you know, make sure that you're here. And you never know, one nugget that you hear on one of these calls or one of these Zooms can light your business on fire. It could be really unlimited as far as the amount of money that you make or you have one epiphany from someone. Oh, I never thought about it that way. Oh, I didn't think about doing it that way. Oh, I never thought about that process or wow, I really resonate with that person. If they can do it, I can do it. Anything like that. So if you're you're on these, you can get one of those. I've had that happen to me so many times on uh, conference calls and Zooms and so on over the years where I heard one idea and I implemented that idea and made $100,000, okay? So is it worth coming on something like this? Absolutely, absolutely. If you participate and if you're here to make it worthwhile. And that's one of the reasons why we don't always give out replays or don't give them out really right after it because it gives the people a reason not to show up. And we want people that are serious about making money, about serious about their game and making their game world class. And that's why we do that. So, uh, so Vic, let's get moving on to um, our presentation here. All right. Ten ingredients. And all of this food you probably should not be eating right now. But anyway, they're all ingredients. I kind of thought it was kind of nice. There's all this, you know, you can imagine that these are cheeseless pizzas and these are veggie burgers. <laughs> but you, were, you, you have a culinary degree, and I wanted to have you share a little bit about the importance of having the right ingredients when you are cooking back to you peter so um yeah well the the ingredients are important because in the culinary in cooking in baking you in turn have to have the right ingredients because if you have too much salt too little salt too much sugar too little sugar too different price different the heat 
all these different types of things, you come out with a totally different product. Okay, so the ingredients are very, very important. It's a science. Okay, making money is a science. It's not luck. It's not a, you know, uh, uh, the prayer method, right, where I pray this is going to work or I hope this is going to work. It's a scientific method. And if you do things in a very specific way, then you in turn can get specific results or close to it. All right, let's move on to the first ingredient, which is probably the most important ingredient and the one that marketers parrot without really understanding what a value is. So let's talk about value. 